touch on just your biggest beliefs as an evaluator and some of the core beliefs that you have evolved to over your years as an evaluator? I think those are all so, I guess core beliefs are various sort of position by position, like each position. So wide receiver, I, to me, you got to be able to win down the football field. If you're not winning, able, able to one, get off the line of scrimmage and two, win down the football field, a lot of what you're bringing to the table is uh, replaceable to some degree. And a lot of that also has to do with our beliefs on positional value uh, and what aspects of each position matters. And, and that's, you know, in, at, at, uh, in basically both sides of the football, the pass game matters. Like I'm going to value a linebacker that can cover uh, more than one that can stuff the run, a cornerback that can cover more than one that can tackle, uh, you know, a wide receiver that can get open deep more than one who runs, you know, great underneath routes and can rack up targets and get after the catch stuff, but is not going to be able to get open down the football field. I'll take the guy and get open down the football field. So that's sort of uh, the pass game matters. Uh, uh, just sort of where you win matters. Uh, and then positional value also matters in the draft. I'm not going to be high on an interior offensive lineman. I'm going to be high on a running back. They're not going to be you know, in the top 10 on our draft board outside of maybe Quentin Nelson because you're just not bringing uh, enough value to the table to justify that. So when we do rank our stuff, it is with positional value in mind.